What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've finally got Apple CarPlay with the most recent Volvo over the air update. It's a miracle, 2.2 that is, so make sure you get that one. But there are pros and cons, so let's get started. So for those who do not know, an over-the-air update is a software update which is pushed automatically to your car by means of internet, basically. So the manufacturer Volvo releases a software update, the car will be notified of it, you will be notified of it as well. You park up the car, you accept the update, it says like it will take max one and a half hours, so be sure to park your car and do not need it afterwards. After that, the car will inform you as well by your Volvo call application and such like, hey, your car has been updated, got 2.2 now, congratulations, have fun in your car and you continue. The 2.2 update for me was about 15 minutes or so, so pretty quick despite like installing Apple CarPlay and such, but that's an over the air update. If you do not have that possibility or do not like it, you can also go to your local dealership and they will update the car by a wire with software from their computer. I believe with Vida, the Volvo system for that. Anyway, guys, with 2.2 came Apple CarPlay. It's a miracle, finally, there was so much pressure on Volvo and Polestar to release it. I mean, they promised it for like a year or more already. Customers were demanding like, hey, we need it right now. But yeah, people were getting a bit impatient with not having Apple CarPlay in their car. So the car itself works with the Google Android automotive system. And yeah, I've been using that for the last few months. And to be frankly honest, it's the best system Volvo ever released in their car. Well, basically it's not Volvo system, so maybe that's the thing. But yeah, I've been enjoying that quite a lot. And to be frankly honest, I didn't really miss Apple CarPlay. So the thing I like a lot about CarPlay now is for example, that we can use Flitzmeister, which is an application which warrants you like for police and such, but very useful. But besides that, Spotify, Google Maps, I already had that. And also with unlimited data on the car, which it comes with. So yeah, I'm not really sure about Apple CarPlay. It looks good. We got like 12 applications on the screen. It's fully integrated now. So not with the previous infotainment system. It was like half, not with this one. It is full screen. So it looks good. Don't get me wrong. And you know, you can use iMessage and such. But besides that, I didn't really miss it to be frankly honest. And or well, maybe some of you did and you hate the Google system on this car. And well, for you then, congratulations. Um, I hope you are happy with it, but yeah, I'm not so sure. Also the thing that it needs a wired connection. So it's not like wireless car play, like most brand new cars have like this one for a couple of months. No, you need a cable. It's a USB-C to USB-C connection. So you need like not your standard old school USB cable for it. And the stupid thing with the C40 and XC40 is also that the port is visible over here in the center console. So it's not hidden in this compartment over here, like the XC60 and 90s have. No, the cable is still visible. So I'm a bit annoyed with that as well. Also Volvo released a list with issues, bugs or shortcomings, so to say, with Apple CarPlay still on the car. So they kind of released it pretty soon or all of a sudden, or they accepted this baseline of quality for the system and the car. But I already had like a couple of times that it just stood still, it wasn't working, it had to reconnect and such. When I get in the car, also from time to time I plug it in in the iPhone and then it says you need to connect your phone, like it's already connected, but. So it's not flawless yet in that sense. And yeah, for a car of this price, I mean, around $65,000, you would assume that the software you get or updates you get are of a certain level of quality. I mean, yeah, we can expect that, right? The C40 already feels from time to time that it's a bit of a test car or a software new kind of car. And don't get me wrong, I like this car a lot. But yeah, releasing an Apple CarPlay with more than 20 plus bugs, issues, shortcomings and such, yeah, I'm not sure about that. For example, I cannot use all buttons over here or when I use Waze or Google Maps from Apple CarPlay, it's not displayed in the driver's display right here, whilst Google Maps on the car itself just shows it perfectly fine over here, then I have Spotify and such over here. So yeah, why should I use it for that? And I strongly doubt if that will come on a later point with Apple CarPlay and Volvo. So yeah, guys, I'm not really sure about it. I'm happy that it's here for those of you who like Apple CarPlay, I'm not so sure for myself. I like the car system a lot. Of course, I will try to use it. So there we go, folks. That's pretty much the update of Apple CarPlay. With 2.2 also came improvements for like the drivetrain and such. So that's good. We're getting better range and such. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, 
Apple CarPlay. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you have any issues or tips or tricks for me to improve this experience using it? Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, also please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Thanks. If you already did, I appreciate that big time, of course. That being said, guys, I see you in a next video. Bye-bye.